Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a different uh, software repository for CentOS 7, that's what I'm on right now. So the process that I'm doing is going to work for all RPM based distributions and uh, so for example if you're doing if you're on Fedora and you want to add a different repository like uh, RPM Fusion, uh, the process is going to be the same. We're just working with CentOS here. So one of the uh, different, one of the better repositories to use for CentOS is uh, called Apple and that's what we are uh, that's what we're going to install here so it's just uh, it's from Fedora and just uh, Apple is extra packages for enterprise Linux and uh, what this is is just uh, you know more more software that you can install from the command line uh, through your yum package manager and that's uh, that's what we're going to do here so uh, let's get into it and let's uh, install this new repo on this machine here so first thing I'm going to do is just become root Okay, and then let's just go here, and uh, this is the uh, Apple site. So we're going to go just scroll down, and uh, we're right here, if you're running Enterprise Linux 7, that's what we're doing here. Uh, get the newest version of Apple 7 right there, so we'll get that. And what we want to do, uh, there are a couple different ways you can do it, but we're going to use wget. So we're just going to right-click on this and copy link location. And then we're just going to save that for a second. So what we need to do is we need to go to Etsy. Hold on. Etsy yum dot repos dot d. This is where your uh, repos are going to be. So let's just see what's already there. And you have uh, just you know your base and uh, you know the basic CentOS stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go wget and we're just going to paste that uh, link that we just did right there enter okay let's just ls again and what we're gonna do now is just install that so we go rpm dash ivh apple and let it do its thing and that's it you're done you are uh, apple is installed and ready to go on your system so how do I know that let's just go yep yum update and uh, we just want to see see what see that right there apple okay so that's what we just added and uh, it's as simple as that just a couple different things and uh, you know you're good to go and uh, start using uh, you know software from those repositories so that's all I wanted to show you today and uh, stay tuned for future videos